all right welcome back guys so for the first time we are going to open our android studio okay and that is because i want us to have a android virtual device or android emulator open before we start to set up google admob okay so that we can actually see what we are doing because this is a very sensitive part of the project okay so i'm going to come to my computer and i'm going to search for android studio okay so you see i already have it here so i'll click on it to open it up and maybe i'll just minimize this so that when it opens up we can see everything happening all right so i'll just give it a few seconds it's a very heavy application so it will take some time to open so the application is opening up and this is what the interface looks like so i'll still give it some a few a few moments now you may be wondering why we are actually using android studio if you have any experience at all with ionic you may be asking can we not just use a command to generate our app and generate our android um, apk file that will be uploaded to the play store well i have done all of those methods i can actually do all of those methods where you use a command to do everything up to where you generate your android app apk file but there are some problems that you very likely would encounter okay and that's why we are using android studio so android studio basically will short circuit the process and avoid a lot of problems okay all right so the application is opened up now i am going to just i think it's still loading all right so there is one thing i want us to do in fact there are two settings i want us to you know implement before we actually start using android studio so i want you to click on configure here and click on settings okay that is if this is the first time you are opening android studio i think this is the welcome screen you should see okay so click on configure and then click on settings okay now when you click on settings i want you to come to I want you to come to appearance and behavior okay so that's the very first one here and it's already open so maybe your own might be like this so just click on appearance and behavior and then look for system settings which is what we have here okay and when you click on system settings i want you to come here and look for reopen last project on startup so let me just take a look so this very first one here reopen last project on startup and i want you to uncheck it this will ensure that every time you open android studio you can see that welcome screen when you uncheck it go ahead and click on apply so if i maybe check this you see that the apply button is active so when you uncheck this go ahead and click on apply and then click on ok and then every time you open android studio this will guarantee that you should at least see this welcome screen which is important for our setup okay so that's the first all right the next thing i want us to do is to actually download a virtual device an android virtual device that's known as avd or what is popularly known as an android emulator which is simply a device that a mobile device that you know exists inside of your computer so but before we go ahead and download that i want us to actually check if our computer is enabled for that kind of um, feature so i would bring up my toolkit and here you see for where we want to test on android emulator the first step is to check if your computer can run android emulator i'm going to show you how to do that but if you want to read more about it you can just click on this link and it's open in a new tab and show you more details okay so but to do that all you need to do is to come to your computer and search for task manager okay so this is task manager here the second way you can get to task manager is if you right click on the bottom bar here you will see task manager okay so i'll open task manager and just give it a few seconds 
and I'll click on performance okay so this is it right here performance okay so that's great let me put this in the center so you can see now when you click on performance if you come down towards this area here you would see virtualization and for me it's set to enabled okay so if yours is set to disabled then you're going to need to enable it before you can actually work with an android emulator which is an android virtual device and that's why this is virtualization okay so um i'm going to close this up right and if you like if yours is disabled and you want to see how you can enable it then just come and click on this enable virtual device feature so if i click on read more it will open in a new tab and it's an article i found on mashtips.com that will so just read through the article and follow the processes and you'll be able to enable the virtualization um, feature on your device okay but i'm not going to cover that in this that's not the purpose of this um um course okay so if you need to do that or you need to find someone to help you do that great feel free to you know do that but when you're done with that and you check and see that the virtualization is enabled um you can then come here to your android interface and click on configure one more time and then select avd manager which is android virtual device manager and click on it All right, so for the AVD manager, you can see that I already have two devices that I've downloaded, okay? So I have this Pixel 2, which is what I use most times, but I also have Nexus 6, okay? So what you can do is you can click on, so if you don't have any device, you just have to create a virtual device. So go ahead and click on create virtual device. And you'll get the option to choose like a device you want to create for your um a virtual an android emulator you want to create so basically you want to create for a phone and you just need to select any of the devices here so let me just scroll down and choose something so i have pixel 2 um i'm just going to choose okay i have nexus 6 i think i really don't know what to choose maybe i'll just choose another pixel okay so or maybe i'll choose nexus 5 so i'll just choose this nexus x okay wait let me see if i can choose something else or anyway i'll just choose this nexus s here so if i select it right um i've selected it i'll then come here and click on next okay so i'll click on next okay so now this is where i need to like download the it's like downloading the os for the um, device you just chose okay so you can actually just leave it as this r api level 30 okay but depending on when you're watching this there might be actually more options okay but i'll just leave it at this this is like for now this is the latest um os api level okay so i'll go ahead and click on next okay and then you can choose to modify the name of the device so maybe maybe what i'll do is i'll just delete this api 30 and just have nexus space X s okay so there's a space there all right so um i'll then click on finish okay so finish here and when i do that it will start to download the android virtual device now this download process actually takes time okay and you're going to have to be patient and wait for it to finish downloading before you can use it okay so but i already have like two devices on my i already have like two devices on my um android virtual device manager so i'm just going to use um, one of them okay i'm not going to wait for the process to down the new device to download i'll just use the previous one i downloaded okay but just go ahead download it and then you can code along with me all right so i would um i can just minimize this okay 
right i don't want to close that i'll just minimize it i have internet so it, it will download all right so um in the next lecture we are going to see how we can because this is already 10 minutes long we are going to see how we can open our virtual device without even going through android studio okay so that's what we're going to see in the next lecture all right see you there